Okay, I am back. So I, I have not been very active on this channel for the past couple months, and the, the reason has been the holidays, essentially. So for the month of December, I had my parents coming out here to visit me in Vietnam. So I was hosting them for pretty much the whole month of December and not having a lot of time to make videos. Uh, and then for the the actual holidays, uh, Christmas to New Year's that week, we went down to Phu Quoc Island, uh, was traveling around. I got some reading done, but I didn't have any time to make videos. Then I was back for one week right at the beginning of January, in which I was busy with work because we were finishing up a, a term then. And then as soon as that finished, I had three weeks off for Tet holiday. Uh, Tet meaning the, the Lunar New Year holiday in Vietnam, which uh, has come early this year, um, early meaning in, in terms of the solar calendar. Usually it's sometime in February, but this year, just because of the way the lunar calendar lines up, uh, it was in January. And I had, because of the way my school schedule lined up, uh, three weeks off for it, which um, the wife wanted to go to her parents for the whole three weeks, and, and I agreed. So then I was uh, up in Quang Nai in, in the provinces uh, for three weeks, uh, staying at my in-law's house and not really having an opportunity to film these videos. So, I, all, all of that is a long way of saying I, I haven't really been doing these weekly reading vlogs for two months. Uh, I, I snuck a couple in there uh, over that time. It's, it's been essentially two months. Um, but the holidays are over, and for the foreseeable future, I'm just going to be on my normal schedule, which means I, I should be back to doing a weekly reading vlog every Sunday. Uh, you know, it, it's always dangerous to make any pronouncements for certain, huh? Who knows, my computer could die tomorrow or I could drop my phone in the toilet or, or something. But unless any unforeseen disaster strikes, I, I'm going to be back to making these weekly reading vlogs every week like I used to be doing before the holidays. So uh, the last vlog I made was right before leaving for the provinces. Uh, and I was uh, discussing the books I was planning to take with me, which was, let me just gather them up here, a hefty set. Ugh. Here they are. Now, I, um, I, I, I made a joking reference in the book, sorry, in the video, in, in the previous video, I kind of uh, said that the wife has told me I can't take all these books and it, it has yet to be negotiated. Uh, and I was kind of in, in a joking way make, trying to make her out to be the bad guy, but um, she, she wasn't the bad guy there. Uh, the, the bad guy was just uh, the physics of it, uh, the, the, how much the books weighed and how much space was in the luggage. And when it actually came time to pack the luggage, I discovered what my wife had kind of been telling me the whole time, is that uh, these books would just not all fit in my backpack and they were way too heavy, way too heavy to take on the plane. They've, they've got a, a weight limit for your carry-on baggage. So uh, with some regret, I did the obvious thing and these two massive hardback books just could not be taken along. Uh, so that was uh, Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel and uh, Me Lai by Howard Jones. Um, I was looking forward to reading these, especially Wolf Hall, which I've heard a number of good things about, but they, they, they were just too big. So um, I, I did not get around to reading these over the Tet holiday. Uh, I've got enough stuff on my platter at the moment that I think I'm just going to return them to the library uh, tomorrow. Um, but after having dragged these sorry, after having dragged these books out on video three weeks ago, I do feel like I've kind of committed myself to them a bit, and they both look really interesting. I'd like to read them, so I'm, I'm going to make it my goal to 
check these out from the library again within this next year. So hopefully before 2023 is out, I'll have read these two, but for now they're going back to the library. Uh, which left me with uh, a more manageable stack here. And I did actually sneak in an extra book. Uh, this, this was one of the unread books from my bookshelf, which uh, I thought I, I'd sneak this in to make up for those two hardbacks I took out. Uh, this is Bullfinch's Mythology, uh, Stories of Gods and Heroes, a.k.a. Bullfinch's Mythology, Volume 1. It's a reread of sorts. Uh, I did a, a version of this uh, book as an audiobook years ago, although it, was, um, it wasn't the complete stories. So this, this is now the com complete, um, complete Volume 1 of Bullfinch's Mythology. So uh, ended up taking then uh, these books uh, with me up to Tet and um, made what is for me good progress on these. Now, I, I was involved in, in a lot of the family gatherings for Tet uh, and was told by my wife I, I couldn't read books at the table. I had to be sociable. Uh, and I was also watching two young kids who took up a fair amount of my time. But in, in spite of that, I, I got three of these books read during that time. Uh, the Storm Before the Storm by Mike Duncan finished that up while I was uh, up with Tet. Uh, Dune by Herbert Walker finished this one up while I was out uh, for Tet. And then my uh, reread of Bullfinch's Mythology finished that one up. Um, and uh, actually, the, the, I, I finished those three books up within like the first week and a half. And, and I thought, oh, geez, am, am I going to run out of books? But uh, no danger of that. The, the Journey to the West book uh, was uh, a bit more to get through, you know, kind of tinier print, a, 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 a little bit uh, more to, to chew on in these books. So I did not even finish the first volume of Journey to the West. Although I, I made some progress on here. I'm 446 pages in uh, on volume one, but uh, you know, still have volumes two, three, and four. So uh, I, I've, I've, I've made a start on this. But I am not finished with these books yet, and these books are going to end up occupying me for quite some time, I predict. Uh, especially now that I'm back from the holidays and I'm going to be back to my usual busy schedule, uh, and it's going to be slow going on these books, probably. Uh, so who knows how long it will take me to work through the whole set, but ha having... Made, made a start on it, uh, I'd, I'd like to see this through. Although, um, I, I think this book is notorious for being hard to get through. I, I mean, it's not, it's not difficult, but people, people complain that it's a little bit long and repetitive, and it's defeated better readers than me. So we'll, we'll see how I come on this. Okay, so to, to recap a little, the situation right now uh, is I have finished off three books during Tet. I'm sorry, swing this around. These three books during Tet. And then uh, if you remember maybe my previous video, I had finished off these two books during the Christmas holidays. Uh, the Peloponnesian War by Donald Kagan and The Odyssey by Homer. So I've got now five books that I've finished but have yet to review. So reviewing these is, is going to be my next project. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this will work. Uh, I'm not... I don't know. Uh, the, the, the problem with the reviews... Um, for me tends to be the written review because I, I, I review each book kind of twice, so to speak. I, I make a, a video review and the video review, as you know, if, you, if you've watched this channel, is unscripted. 
I just turn on the camera and ramble and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but either way, I, I, just, I, I just do one take of it um, because I, I don't have time to do multiple takes. Um, uh, uh, just don't have the time. Uh, and then when, when it's done, it's done. It ends up being, you know, however long I ramble, 30 or 40 minutes or something like that, but then, then it's done. Um, but I also do a, a written review on the blog and those, because I'm a, I find writing to be more laborious and because I'm a little bit more careful about my choice of words when I'm writing, uh, those written reviews tend to be where the time suck ends up being and, and that those can, those can take me a long time to, to finish off. And I, I try and usually line up the video review with the written review. So um, that's my project is uh, writing reviews for these and filming reviews from these. Um, and we'll see how long that takes me. Now the, um, the good news in terms of my book reviewing uh, is that for the next week, uh, the wife and the kids are still up in the provinces. Uh, now I'm going to be working this next week, but I'm going to have the evenings to myself. Um, so we'll see if I manage to use that time productively to knock off some book reviews. Um, and if, if I do, you might see a couple of these reviewed during the next week. Uh, it's also possible I might just use that time to watch, watch TV and eat junk food. Uh, which is what I did yesterday. Yesterday was my first day back. Um, and uh, yeah, um, speaking of which, I, I saw a movie yesterday uh, off of YouTube, uh, which I filmed a review for this channel. That was Capricorn One. I'll link to my review in the description down below. Um, and uh, who, who knows? I, I'm, I may be, you know, I've, I've, I've got the week to myself. I may watch another movie and, and do, a, do another movie review. So um, I, I should be active on this channel in some form, whether it's doing book reviews or movie reviews, or I, I, I think I'm gonna get some more comic books out of the library, maybe do some more comic book reviews. Uh, so uh, I, I expect maybe some more activity this week on the channel. Uh, and then after that, the kids will be back and I'll be back to my usual self of, of uh, looking really tired when I'm making these videos and, and all that. Um, yeah, so did I say everything I wanted to say in this video? To recap, uh, reading Journey to the West right now. Uh, two books here I did not get around to, which I'm going to return to the library, but hopefully read later this year. And then five books now that I've finished over the holidays and I'm going to try and sort out reviews for eventually. Oh yeah, the, the other thing I wanted to say maybe is because I don't think I've ever been in this position before where I've got five books that I've finished and, and are kind of piling up on my to be reviewed list. So I may do something that I used to do quite frequently is to go back and reread parts of these books as I'm composing my re review, just to keep them somewhat fresh in my memory. So um, the, you know, some of my reading page totals for next week could be rereading part of the Peloponnesian War or, or something like that, depending on how I come on these books, uh, get along with, with, with these book reviews. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to say. So, uh, oh, um, and booktube. Sorry, there's always one more thing, isn't there? There's always one more thing that you think of. But th this one more thing, uh, BookTube. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't been uh, keeping up my end on uh, watching BookTube videos and commenting on other people's BookTube videos. Uh, like I said, I've been out in the provinces uh, and busy for the holidays, etc. But I'll, I'll try also to get back into that this week. Uh, and, you know, maybe next week uh, have some BookTube recommendations to share or, you know, my, my little list of This Week in Booktube, which has been dropped for the past couple weeks, past couple months, but uh, try and get back into that as well. So uh, 
sorry, sorry to all, all my uh, booktube buddies who I haven't been commenting on your videos. Uh, try and get back into that. Okay.